All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we're just going to take a quick look at my uh, new Vanquish Phoenix. Uh, this was a build kit that come with the upgraded uh, hardened or machined hardened transmission gears. So you kind of got those as an extra bonus. Uh, overall, this truck was a lot of fun to build. Took my time with it, wasn't in a rush. Um, definitely enjoyed building it. Um, don't have too many criticisms of the build. The transmission is a little, I wouldn't say tricky, but definitely a kind of an experienced person should be dealing with the, uh, dealing with the transmission. It has a lot of parts, uh, but all, all in all, oh, and setting up the linkages for all the shift servos. That's something they definitely need a little bit of experience doing and you need a good radio. You cannot use a cheap radio. You got to set your endpoints correctly. Double check, double check, double check and make sure they're right. You're going to burn up servos left and right and do unnecessary wear. Um, but all in all, really good build. I really like this truck. I usually spend a lot more time, if you guys have seen in my other videos, when I build cars or paint my bodies, I do more emphasis on the paint and body and for the... With this truck, I wanted something simple. I tried out some spastic spray. Um, we're using them now in the shop and I wanted to kind of see how they went on and overall this uh, bright gunmetal from spastics works beautiful. It looks really nice. But I didn't do any two-tone, any black fenders, any black roof. I just basically did base color. I am going to come back and do some matte finishes here and there to kind of differentiate a few things. Maybe the fenders and a couple other things, but I haven't quite uh, settled on a design. And you can see I also did do the interior. I am not a big fan of, the, of interiors. I'm not going to put a guy in it. I'm not into Barbie dolls, but it is nice that the... Uh, the interior is available, um, and if I'm just going to paint it black, it seems pointless to put it in there. Um, so I may or may not ever put it in. I might. I haven't put the door handles on yet. I've done the windshield wipers. I kind of wanted this as a performance rig, um, a performance trail rig, so I wanted it to perform really well. Overall, I'm really liking it. I'm going to get a light kit for it. Um, everything went pretty good i can't think of anything that was really a drag on this um i do need to adjust one of the shocks it's got a little bit too much a little bit too much oil in it so it doesn't quite compress correctly i don't know why that is um uh, the only complaint i would have about this is nothing to do with the build it's the way that the body attachments are you can see i got these team corrali tethers on here the long ones with the body clips and here's the reason I did that is because uh, getting to the body clips that are up under here are very difficult to get a hold of with your fingers they're kind of a pain in the butt and so I decided to hook the tethers on just drilled little holes right there in the bumper you can hook them under here like that they're not really obtrusive um, they don't look too out of place I mean if you know, you can't even really see them, but they're easy to grab a hold of and let loose. They're still a kind of a pain to put the body clip back in, but that definitely helps with releasing the body and gets that up. Um, minor thing, I kind of wish the body would hinge up just a little bit more, but at least it hinges so you can get to get to your battery, change it out, and then an easy just pull the, pull the pin and pull the, the pin, the cross pin on the front pulls right out. But all in all, really good. I put a Mamba X in it, a crawler system with a 2850 KV, I believe is what it is, a castle system. It's definitely noisy if anybody knows anything about these, they're noisy. I also did a high tech. Also did a, this is not a common crawler servo, but it's a servo I've had good luck with. It's a high-tech D951TW. Um, we've got a set on 7.4, got a BEC in here, and uh, it has a monster torque. It's like 500 ounces or something. Um, very nice servo, plenty of power for this thing, I think. I don't think you need to go more than that. And then for the servos, 
here I just did uh, kit takeout servos. Both of them are Reedy takeout servos. They're steering servos out of some ready to runs. They work perfect. They have metal gears. They do exactly what you need to do. You don't need anything fast or super powerful for that. And then I'm running an Eco Power Shorty Lipo. It is a 4200 milliamp 3S. Um, so far, just messing around with it, doing you know in the house a few things at the shop. Um, I like the way that it drives. Everything seems to shift good, and we got the endpoints right. The only thing I would say is it sucks because the weather has been so bad. Uh, it says winter 2023, and every other day it's like a blizzard here in Utah. We've got I've got cars. They used to be my daily drivers that have got snowed on so much they got snow up to the windows and even one of my car you can hardly even see it it's completely buried in like a four foot snow drift and uh, it's just too much work to get them out of the driveway where we have kind of a tight quarters driveway but all in all when we get this out on the trails i'm going to do a little bit more talking and yapping about it but there's a lot of videos out there so i just wanted to do this video or do this build not on camera. Almost everything I do RC is on camera. And I just wanted to build this without it being, so that's why I didn't film it. I just had a nice enjoyable time of not trying to place a camera or being uncomfortable because my camera is in the way. I just wanted to build it. And there's tons of videos out there about this already. So they did, there didn't need to be another one. But my overall impressions of this truck is I really like the build quality. I built a lot of miscellaneous kits, crawlers, dragsters, race cars over the years. Um, everything on this fit and finish was perfect. Um, plastic seemed really good. It had a nice, um, it had a nice blend of being soft um, to the point where the screws will go in pretty good without being too hard. Um, and just a nice blend. You could just tell the way that everything went together. Very well thought out kit. Um, can't wait to get another one. Um, Want to do a straight axle um, Phoenix and do a different body setup too. Oh no, well, if this will help anybody out there, any of my subscribers want to know about the Phoenix, I would highly suggest this truck, especially if even if you don't want to build the kit, get the ready to run. The ready to run looks like a super awesome deal. You probably can't beat it. It's probably the best ready to run straight axle kit that there's probably is out there right now. I mean, it has got unbelievable features, a great radio, um, and I'm hoping to. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to pick one of those up, but I'm hoping to get one and uh, just mess with it a little bit maybe even their radios will come up for sale they might be a good aftermarket uh, radio so please like subscribe and share tell me what you think about the phoenix um, if you guys want to see any more footage of of this rig or not i'm not super big into crawlers but i do like the looks of them i like to build them i do enjoy the looks of them but i'm more of a basher guy anyway thanks guys